Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Hey, this is Ariel from GMS Tampa Bay 12 and GMS 13 Rulership Shabbat. I do want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to our Lord Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai. Call Haloyim, La Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Rakah Kodash. Double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Salutations to you brothers out there that push this word in truth and sincerity week in and week out, day in and day out, without wavering and in sound doctrine. And shalom to any sisters as well too that listen to meekness, quietness, and humbleness. Again, it's your brother Ariel from Tampa. And, uh, you know, just to the spirit, man, I just want to say, you know, you know, brothers are blessed. And uh, I, I, I say you're blessed because really what it comes down to it is, you know, you brothers, you know, you don't, you know, we don't. We don't particularly care for this world, all right, this age that we live in, or even, you know, this rulership that we're under. Brothers don't particularly care for this. Because why? We look at the wickedness of this world, the wickedness of the earth. We look at who's running the earth. And through a pure conscience, we can't really enjoy ourselves here. But when I say you're blessed, it's because you are understanding of that fact. That this world is what? Evil? That it's ran by evil? Okay, that it hurts your spirit to see the earth in this manner, to see your people, the Israelites, your so-called blessed Hispanics and Native Americans in such a low state. By, by you feeling that way is proof that you're blessed because the scriptures tell you that. Because the Lord is gonna, the Lord is not gonna let you perpetually just be in this state. No, the Lord is gonna eventually answer all your prayers. The Lord is not gonna just let His sons, His elect, just be in hell for the rest of their lives and just die in this place. No, the Lord is gonna eventually save His, uh, save, save His sons, save His elect, because He loves His elect, and He wants to see His elect. Basically, repent and 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 and, 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 uh, and reverence Him, the Lord, the Heavenly Father. While you have all these distractions and everything out here, the Lord wants to see you praise Him. So let's go ahead and read some of this here in the Book of Matthew. This is the Book of Matthew, chapter five, verse three. It says, "This is Yahweh speaking." By the way, it says, uh, "Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven." So I'll read that again for understanding. Matthew chapter 5 verse 3 Yahweh says Blessed are the poor in spirit For theirs is the kingdom of heaven Blessed are the poor in spirit The ones that don't That, that can't get a break out here in this world The ones that understand the, the, That they're in hell the, the people that understand that they're in hell but yet, they still serve Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in truth and sincerity with all faith and honesty, knowing that the Lord is going to bring them out of it. Those men are blessed. As the scriptures say, you know, blessed, blessed is them that see, that, that don't see, but how's it go? Um, that have not seen, you know, believe and have not seen, uh, roughly paraphrasing, so to speak. So it says, blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So the kingdom of heaven is going to belong to those on this earth that are poor in spirit. But yet still what? Praise Yahweh by Shem Yahweh in truth and sincerity. Brothers believe that the Lord is not going to let this go on forever. Brothers believe that the Lord is going to eventually save his elect out of the hands of the enemy. But while brothers are here in this world, we are what? Completely miserable. Yeah, you can have a good job. You can have a woman and a family and all these things, but in spirit, you're poor. You don't. Ha you're lacking something. There's there's a main ingredient missing to make you happy, to truly make you happy and at peace. It's missing. So what? You're in. A, you're poor in spirit. Blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is belonging to you brothers that are poor in spirit. Okay? That are suffering spiritually in this world. In this realm. We'll get another one here. This is in uh, Psalm. This is uh, Psalm. Psalm. 
so many pages in Psalms. This is a uh, Psalm. Thirty-four, I believe. Uh, one second. Thank you. Salakia. Uh, we'll start at uh, uh, Psalm thirty-four, verse fourteen. It says, "Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it." The eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the righteous. And his ears are open unto their cry. So the Lord is saying, so what it's saying here is that the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. All right. Unto whose cry? Those out there, the righteous that are out here on the earth that are crying. Because what? Because what? Brothers are living in a perpetual hell. We're looking at the state of all people. We look at the state of the earth, the animals. Look at the Amazon. Amazon being burnt down because of the wicked. So what, brothers, cry out unto our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and we ask the Lord to, to make this right. To get the evil out of power and put somebody that's more that's more profitable in power. We do it in patience, but we, we, we sincerely do it because we can't stand this place. This place hurts our spirit. We wake up every day having to serve another nation. Rather than serving our power, we have to serve another nation. So brothers have to what? We have to balance our lives out. In a wicked world like this, where it should be completely balanced, but we have to, you know, set things out. We got to go to work at this time, and then we got to go and, you know, all right, let's see if I can, I can read it in this time. I can get a lesson in. Maybe I can get a lesson in. That's not how this thing's supposed to be going. But yes, it is how this thing's supposed to be going. The Lord designed it this way, and that's why that's how it weeds out the true men from the, from the, from, from the boys. Because the true men of the Lord are gonna what? They're gonna they're gonna uh, they're gonna hate this world. And they're going to be very vocal about it. And it's going to show in their spirit. They're going to be poor in spirit. To a point where what? They're going to they're going to want to step up. And they're going to stand um, against the evildoers for the Lord. They're going to stand stiffly. Stand boldly for the name of the Lord. In front of those that have, have uh, persecuted them. Have oppressed them. And that's what you see going on today on the highways and byways. Mainly from the camp of Great Millstone and other camps as well too though. And sound doctrine. So it says, depart from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord Yahweh are all upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. So the, so the Lord's ears are open unto the cry of the righteous. The face of the Lord Yahweh is against them that do evil, to cut off the remnants of them from the faith from the earth. Okay, so I'll read that again. The face of the Lord Yahweh is against them that do evil. So the Lord is against them that do evil. Specifically what? The wicked. Who's the wicked, y'all? The Edomites. The Edomites. If you don't know who the Edomites are, I'll, 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 I'll tell you. It's the, it's the so-called white man. It's the one that calls himself Caucasian on this earth. All right. That's the wicked. That's the, um, that's the, that's the um, evil. So them, the Lord is against them. His face is against those people. But to his righteous, the righteous, which is uh, starting with the so-called blessed, the blessed Spanish and Native Americans, but... Um, to go even further, what? The elect of those men. 144,000, uh, 12,000 on each tribe, in the 12 tribes, okay? The Lord has his face to them. He hears the, he, in his ear open unto their cry. Because what? We're crying for righteousness. We, we want to get out of this wicked world. So what? Men are, cr are crying for the Lord to save them um, out of the hell that, that, that brothers are have, have to live. All right? So it says, uh, it says, the face of the Lord, this is verse 16, uh, Psalm 34 and 16, the face of the Lord, Yahweh, is against them that do evil, to cut off the remnants of them from the face of the earth. And that's what's eventually going to end up happening. The Lord is going to cut off the wicked from the face of the earth. You go into the book of Obadiah and it tells you that. Going specifically on, on the nation of Edom. So we understand that the Lord is always going to make good on his promise. And you can even go to the book of Malachi where it says, you know, uh, I think it says, well, is that where it says uh, they're going to leave neither root or branch. Well, I got all these chapters. Hold on one second. Let me see. Just to make sure I'm not tripping. Um, 
Yeah, this is a book of Malachi chapter 4 verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. You hear that? So the Lord, as it says before, that the Lord's face is against, against the wicked. So it says that the day the Lord shall burn, burn as, a, as an oven, and all that proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. So the proud and the wicked are going to be are going to burn up in that day, in that dark and gloomy day. That's the day of the Lord. Okay. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Meaning that there's going to be no trace of them left. When you when you when you destroy something by the roots, when you destroy a plant by the roots, there's no way in hell that that plant's going to grow back because the root has been destroyed. So that's what's going to end up happen, happening to the wicked on this earth. They're going to be destroyed to the roots, so that this, so they can never rise up and do evil on this earth again. Back into the book of Psalm, chapter thirty-four. It says, uh, uh, "I'll read sixteen, that the latter part of it, to cut off the remnants of them from the face of the earth, the wicked that is, them that do evil." Verse seventeen: The righteous cry, and the Lord Yahweh heareth, and delivereth them. Out of all their troubles Okay So the Lord hears the, the cry of the righteous And what ultimately He delivers those 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 men Out of their troubles And what troubles Are, are the men of the Lord Going through night, right now They're going through This this uh, America Alright And uh, this Babylonian world That we live in Because it's not just America Brothers are all over The planet earth And everywhere you go There's wicked Okay Especially if the so called White man dwells there because what he's known as the border of wickedness. So if you in a, a, a Edomite ran nation, guess what? You in you in a wicked nation. When the wicked actually run it. Okay? So the Lord hears your cries and delivereth them out of all their troubles. So you'll be delivered if you continue to cry upon the Lord for the wickedness of the earth, of the wicked. The, the, the wickedness of the evil. If you understand what I'm saying. Verse 18. Psalm 34 and 18 The Lord Yahweh is nigh or close unto them That are of a broken heart And saveth such as be of a contrite spirit So someone with a broken heart or uh, what, uh, What's it say? Uh, yeah, with a broken heart And of a contrite spirit That's the men of the Lord Does it, Didn't it say back in uh, the book of Psalm Or this book of Matthew rather I'll just turn right to it nope. uh, It says uh, Blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Okay? So yours, if you poor in spirit, hey, guess what? The king of heaven belongs unto you. And as it says here in the book of Psalm, chapter 34, verse 18, the Lord is nigh unto them with a broken heart. So the Lord is close to you that are in a, that are in that lowest state in mind and spirit. Because you're in that you're in that spirit because you 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 truly hate evil. You truly hate wicked. Okay? And if you go into the book of third John, let me see if I can find that real quick. Book of uh, Third John here, verse eleven. It says, Be, "Beloved, follow not that that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil hath not seen God." All right. So you follow the good, and you and you abhor the evil. You hate the evil. Okay. You understand? So it says, um, "The Lord." Back in the book of Psalm 8, uh, chapter 34, verse 18, the Lord Yahweh is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save the sons that be of a contrite spirit. And again, that's the that's the brothers. Broken heart, contrite spirit. They ain't nothing here for brothers. Except the brothers and this truth. Everything else is it just weighs on our souls. So the Lord is with us because we see that. And it's safe to say that the Lord is with us Because we're doing everything that the Lord is asking us to do And we're doing it in truth and sincerity It's not that brothers are getting cocky It's that brothers really believe this We have faith We believe, okay Verse 19 Many are the afflictions of the righteous But the Lord Yahweh delivereth him out of them all Okay So you gotta remember that oh, We understand that there's many afflictions out here in this world But the Lord is gonna ultimately deliver us Out of all those afflictions Verse 20, he keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. And that's what's gonna end up happening. And tells you again, if you if you against the righteous, you shall be destroyed. You're gonna be made desolate by our Lord Yahweh, 
in the name of Yahweh Shai, through Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai is going to come upon the earth again and do the destruction. Okay? Verse 22, the Lord Yahweh redeemeth the soul of, the, of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. So those that believe and trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai shall not be destroyed. But actually, the contrary, they're going to gain everlasting life. So when this is all said and done, the righteous, the Lord who that redeems as righteous on this earth will be will will, will gain immortality. Okay, they're not going to be left desolate out here. You kidding me? The Lord don't work like that. The Lord don't even work like that, bro. Let me go back to the book of uh, Matthew, chapter five, verse four. Yahweh says, "Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted." Okay, so the ones that are here in in a mourning state. Uh, ultimately, they're going to be comforted because what? They believe in, in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. They believe in the true power of Israel. So ultimately, those men that are right here that are mourning for the state of the world, what's it say? Blessed are they, for they shall be comforted. They're going to be comforted. So if you in that mind state, you have a, a broken spirit, contrary heart, well, guess what? The Lord's going to comfort you, and you're comforted ultimately by these words. That's why it's, it's important to what? Read these, read these words. Also, um, watch brothers' lessons and watch the elders' lessons. So you can be comforted. All right? Because you, you know you hate this place. All right? And, but the Lord's got our backs. He hears your cries. The Lord hears the cries of the righteous. This is the book of 2 Ezra in the Apocrypha, chapter 15, verse 8. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Talking about the wicked on this earth, the so-called white man, specifically. Okay? I'll read it again. Second entrance 15 and 8, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. So the day's gonna come with but the Lord's just gonna say, you know what, you know what? That's enough is enough. You know what? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something about this and I'm gonna save my elect. But this wicked, the wicked gotta pay. So he's gonna hold his tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Uh read it on. It says, it says, uh, behold. The innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. So the innocent and righteous blood are crying unto Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. And it says what? The souls of the just? The souls of the just, okay? The just complain continually. That's why you, you, you see brothers making these videos out here, because that's their way of complaining unto the Lord. That's why you, you, you know, you pray, you know, you complain unto the Lord in your prayers. Okay, because what you're also you're also praying for brother salvation. You're praying for your salvation and all your loved ones. You're praying for a better world. You're praying for Yahweh Shai to come come back and finally get his throne. But you're praying for the downfall of the wicked as well too. You're complaining. Okay, get us out of here already. How long? How long? You read in the book of Psalms. You hear King David always talking about how long. All right, that's how we should be. I don't care about nothing else out here, man. Fuck this world, man. This place sucks. We're ready to go. Brothers are ready to go. But we have to be patient. So what do we do? We, we cry out to the Lord. We ask the Lord to, to, to redeem us. Get us out of here. So we can go into the book of Ezekiel with that now. Book of Ezekiel chapter chapter uh, 9 verse 4. It says, And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is the people before us a place. So wherever, the, so wherever the Israelites are, you call that Jerusalem. It says, to the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So a mark is going to be set upon the forehead spiritually of the men that sigh and that cry. And that mark uh, is, is uh, I think it's pronounced the wah, um, which is uh, the mark of exemption. Exemption from what? The, the judgment that's about to come upon this earth. You'll be exempt from that if what? You're sighing and crying for all the abominations that are done in the land. So if you're the, if you're one of those men that are truly have a problem with this world and you sign and cry unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shad, guess what? You're gonna have that mark of exemption in that day, in that day of judgment. You're gonna be good while the rest of the world's gonna suffer in pain because of the because they 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 were living it up. All right. Um, as it says in the book of Second Ezra chapter nine, why they had yet liberty. Real quick, I'm gonna just touch on it. Second Ezra nine and uh. uh Let's start at verse 9. It says, uh, Then shall they be in a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. 
for such a for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them understood not but despised it the same must know it after death by pain so those out there that that here it is we have this grace per period the law has grace on us and mercy and you over there screwing up screwing off and fucking off in the world guess what you're gonna understand this after death by pain all right and that's and that's what it's talking about here because when you read on in the book of ezekiel chapter 9 verse 1 into verse 5 it says talking to the angels it says uh and go to the others he said in my hearing go after him through the city and smite let not your eyes spare neither neither have ye pity slay utterly utterly old and young both maids and little children and women but come not near any man upon whom is the mark which is exempt and begin at my sanctuary so you Israelites are gonna have to get this this judgment then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house okay so it's talking about bringing um uh, uh judgment okay starting at the sanctuary of the, of the you know which is the house of israel smite let not your eyes spare neither have you pity because what you're gonna have to get this judgment you didn't you didn't do anything for the lord when you had liberty you loved the law place of repentance is open up onto you and you close the door so guess what the same must know it after death by pain i think that's fair i think that's fair i think that's a good idea just destroy them get them out of here let me go back to the book of matthew real quick i'm gonna end this real soon book of matthew chapter 5 verse 5 now it says it says blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth so the meek shall inherit the earth. So the ones that are in low spirit, in a, in a, in a meek spirit, or was it a broken spirit, poor spirit, you're going to end up inheriting the earth. The earth is given unto the wicked. The earth is, uh, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? It's the so-called white man. He's the wicked. He runneth the earth. The earth was given into his hands. He got the fatness of the earth. That was his blessing. And the, and the sword. The earth was given into his hands. Now you're starting to understand it. You're starting to see how it all comes together. So we're here back in um, Matthew 5 and 5. Blessed are they, blessed are the meek, all right, the lowly, for they shall inherit the earth. So the meek, the ones that are uh, humble, shall inherit the earth. The ones serving, serving you, how by Shemi Yahushai in truth and sincerity with all humble humility, uh, you're going to be the ones inheriting the earth. And you're gonna be in, you're gonna be in a real spirit, okay? You're gonna be the one uh, uh, that that's gonna be in a perpetual happiness, peace, all right? Love those things that you hear the world talk about all the time, but they have no idea what that stuff really means. That's what we're gonna be living in, peace and love. You dig? And 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 the rest of the world out here, mainly specifically you other nations. Hey, you're gonna you're gonna understand. You're gonna learn the hard way. And you Jake out here, you so called blessed Hispanics and Native Americans that don't want to serve you how by Shimmy Shai in this world while you have liberty a place of repentance is open onto you guess what you're gonna die you're gonna know about after death by pain and then you're gonna be reborn in the kingdom of heaven all right and um, um with your head hanging low going into the book of daniel chapter 12 verse 2. um your meek shall inherit the earth man and you can get that in psalm in psalm 37. psalm 37 it says Psalm 37 and, and, uh, and 11, I start at uh, I start at 9. It says, For with thee is the fountain of life, in thy sight shall we see light. No, that's the wrong, my bad. I, I lost my place. Uh, Psalm 37 and 9, For evildoers shall be cut off. And we, there it goes again, evildoers being cut off. Okay? Forever. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord Yahweh, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall 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 not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. The wicked ain't gonna have no place when the kingdom of heaven is established. Verse 11. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. You hear that? 
that's what's going to end up happening. Peace is going to end up raining upon the earth and, and evil is going to be uh, uh, shunned away. And you can get that in the book of uh, Second Ezra chapter 6 too, I think like verse 28. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I might as well get it. How much time? I'll 25 minutes? I'll try to close this up here. Um, uh, yeah, we could get that. Yeah, um, Second Ezra 6 and 28. For as for as for faith, it shall flourish, flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, which hath been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Okay, so so finally, corruption is going to be uh, uh, shunned away. Uh, uh, corruption shall be overcome. Okay, and and the truth, which has been so long without fruit, because the truth hasn't been shining on this earth for a very long time, till just recently, about forty years, thirty years, or whatever the case is. All right, shall be declared. So truth is going to be declared, ultimately. While the rest of the world, hey, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna have to enjoy it. All right, because hey, you know, once the once the Israelites are running the earth, the world's gonna be it's gonna be in peace. All right, these other nations, yeah, they're gonna get their heads bashed in a little bit, uh, not a little bit, but you know what I'm saying. They're gonna feel it, but ultimately, after as time progresses, these other nations, they're gonna be with it, and they're gonna be very happy, and they're gonna fall in order. But Esau, which is the wicked, they're going to be destroyed. Leave neither root nor branch. All right. And um, we'll close it out back in the book of Matthew. We'll end there. Book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 6. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst for right after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the Most High. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of the Most High. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. All right, and that's you brothers out there on the highways and byways. Understand that, that persecution is coming. It's not going to be pretty. All right? But blessed are you if you get purchases for, persecuted for righteousness' sake. If you lose your job, if your girlfriend leaves you, whatever the case is. You know, you get arrested or, you, you know, who knows what the hell happens. You know, you lose all your friends. You blessed, man. All right, don't let that shit discourage you in this world, man. This world is shit. We're about to gain immortality. You worried about this place? Fuck this place, man. Don't worry about it. The Lord sees what you gave up. And you think the Lord is going to forsake that? No, you think the Lord is going to ignore the fact that you gave up this world, which which is completely a complete utter distraction from anything that's righteous and you gave it up for, for him? No, the Lord is going to is going to bless you for that. You're going to be rewarded for that. You going to gain back a hundredfold. As the scriptures say, it says, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. So you're going to be blessed, man, if that stuff is happening to you. So no need to fret. Good things are coming. You just have to have faith in this. But at the same time, you have faith. If you have faith in this, you're going to be in a contrite spirit. You're going to be in a lower state. And you're going to be, and you, you're going to walk in humility. You ain't going to be all proud. Sure, we have a certain. Uh, um, amount of pride that we I hate using that word that, that we have to uphold Okay you can't just be in some mopey spirit No you an Israelite bro You understand that You serving the Lord In truth and sincerity So yeah you, you, you take I hate using that again Take pride in that But you know uh, You know brothers have, uh, yeah, you, 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 you hold a certain uh, Amount of integrity Okay You know pride bro But you know what I'm saying Just words English words but the meek is going to inherit the earth. The meek in spirit is going to be blessed. So make sure you're in the right spirit, brothers. So with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Wahaha Rakak Wadash, double honor to the elders and apostles of GMS, Great Millstone. Shalom to you, brothers. Shalom to your sisters. Peace.